I thought I'd just show off some of the presents I got this year, or I got for other people. Some of the presents I got for other people this year. Um, we'll start with... So the first one I got is this little throwing axe. It's listed as a throwing axe, but it... I guess it's kind of sturdy. And the blade is sharp. I don't remember what company this is from. It's off of Etsy. So one thing you can do is personalize the handle. And then you can also write on... You can also write on the blade. I don't know how far forward it needs to be for you to see that clearly. So this is for my mom. She said she wanted to do axe throwing, but also it's kind of fitting. Oops, so I'm supposed to. Oh. Ooh, that sliced my finger. That is sharp. So with the inscription, um, I asked her what her battle cry would be, and she said. WTF now universe. So it seems like it would be a better um, decorative piece than something you actually cut with, especially since it's so tiny, but that's the first one that I have. And then continuing sharp miss, I have this knife from Time and Again by Russ. This is for my dad. He has one like this already that's from my grandpa. But you can never have too many knives. And it comes with these three. And they're already sharpened. I don't know if the one he has has these two pieces. I know it has this one. So there's that one. And then for my brother... I have another knife. I know he has one of these already. I don't know if it has these two pieces. Come out. I think this one's a bottle opener and this is like a rope cutter. But again, never have enough knives. And then for my sister, I have Who is Against the Queen Will Die from 90 Day Fiance. This is off of Redbubble. For one of my friends, I have this holiday pack for Lil Bub. Does this say what? Bub was a very special one of a kind critter considered by many to be the most amazing cat on the planet. July 2011, she was discovered as the runt of a healthy feral, little, feral litter in rural Indiana, and in December of 2019, she suddenly departed for space. Since being taken in as a special needs kitten, Bub became one of the most famous and beloved cats on the planet. In her eight short years on Earth, she was a twice-published author, a talk show host, the star of an award-winning documentary, a billboard-topping artist, created the first national fund for special needs pets, and helped raise over 70... 750000 for animals in need. Since becoming world famous in the summer of 2012, Bub has made our mission to send, to spread a message of pos positivity, acceptance, perseverance, and of course, animal welfare awareness, encouraging people to adopt, spay, and neuter their pets. I don't remember exactly what she, I think she has a kind of dwarfism. It also came with this little Bub stuffed animal, which is very cute. And a little bub card and a magnet. And I owe her a few. I owe her a Christmas gift because last year when I asked, she didn't tell me what she wanted. Um, the last one I have is something that I'm making. Where did my pieces go? Oh no, I lost them. Oh, here it is. So. First one is a stained glass sticker. This one is a tardigrade. And it's from Sarah Barek Williams on Etsy. And then I have these little nail art stickers. This one is leaves. And this one is flowers. This is from Tattoo... Tattoo Rary? Oh, 
Oh, this was upside down. Little flowers. And then two pins from Sugar Nova. This one says, start doing, stop downing, start doing. And then this one is a little science frog. And then I'm going to put them into this box that's not done yet. I'm going to try and paint some flowers on it. I don't know how well it's going to go. And then I'm going to stuff this with, um, I'm going to stuff this with shredded paper and then put all of this stuff inside like a little, like those little streamer things that you get that are all wrapped up and you like unravel them and there's like stuff in it, except in a box. But that is all I have. The finished box didn't turn out too bad. Hopefully they look like sunflowers. And I've put all the little things in there and stuffed it full of paper strips. And then they're also getting this lovely birth of a cult. Mm -hmm.